This was all I saw of Video Kid before I got asked to take a look at it by Pixel Trip Studios, the developers behind the game. I knew nothing else. However, a Back to the Future themed game with other great titles from the 80s and a soundtrack by EDM legend Savant? Yeah. You had my curiosity, but now you have my attention. What the hell is Video Kid about anyway? I start up the game, see the intro, and. Yep, yeah, it's a Paperboy clone. But it's a bloody good one at that. So the idea is that you definitely don't play as Marty McFly, a guy that is running late to deliver his endless supply of pirate movies to his neighbours. Nope, I'm not making that up. But what really makes the game stand out is not only the controls that work almost all of the time, which will apparently be fixed by the time the game's released, but it's the settings, the graphics, and most importantly, the references. Oh my god, the references. I'm just going to slap this spoiler alert sticker right here, because discovering the references is really quite a lot of fun. So without spoiling too much, all of these references that I'm going to talk about here are all at the very beginning part of the game. So you got Superman, you got Homer Simpson, E.T., The Terminator, Rocky, He-Man, The Turtles, Need I say any more? Okay, you got the Blues Brothers, Inspector Gadget, Dukes of Hazard. Damn, the list goes on and on and on. I promise you I've only touched the tip of the iceberg here. Lego Dimensions, you've got a lot of work to do. So it's a simple idea, just like most mobile games, and the goal is really just to get as far as you can in this free-to-play game, earning points and money which you use to upgrade your character's look, tricks and power-ups. The Video Kid is 100% pulling on those nostalgia heartstrings, and it knows it. Now, I know what you're thinking. Dan, why the hell are you reviewing a free-to-play game? We all know what is hiding behind that free criteria, and you know what? You're right. I've already been told by the developers that yes, of course, you can pay a small fee, I think it's about 69p, to basically unlock stuff. However, what I will say is that in my review copy of the game, I wasn't able to buy anything with real money. I couldn't even find the store. I've actually now purchased everything you see here on the screen without paying a single penny. Now, like I said, guys, this is just a review copy, and from what I understand, not the final copy of the game. The items in the store are really not crazy out of reach, and I was able to get all of them just by playing the game normally. Heck, I got everything available, and that was only after a couple of weeks of playing. So please understand, and keep in mind, I'm reviewing this, the review copy of the game. Hopefully the developers do not change the price of these items by the time the game is available, and hopefully this bottom line here of unseen items that I wasn't able to get are actually available using the currency that you earn in the game. But time will tell. I just want to make it clear, I'm reviewing the review copy. And for all you peeps out there moaning because I'm playing a mobile game, if you ask me, I got no issue in playing games on mobiles. Good games are good games at the end of the day. And this is a good game. It's not my favourite mobile game, far from it. That still goes to the massively underrated rimmed capsule. But for a fun little game that can also turn quite challenging for players that want to push themselves a little further, it's actually bloody good. One of the better mobile gaming experiences out there. And like I said, reviewing this version of the game, if it plays practically the same when it comes out, with a few minor collision issues sorted out, I would happily recommend this game to anyone with a phone powerful enough to play it. A great homage to not only the classic movies of old, but also the gameplay of old. Now, can someone please tell me who this is? Hey guys, thanks for watching my review on The Video Kid. If you want to check out my last review on The Division, click the link that you see up there. If you really want to go far back, how about checking out The Story of Roland, my first ever video, which is all about Alan Sugar's mascot for the Amstrad CPC. And finally, if you want to see 100 facts about Mario, click the last link. If you want to support the show and see stuff early, as well as a few previews, check me out on Patreon. 
make sure to subscribe, come and find me on social media, and give the video a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you prefer. This is DJ Slope signing out, and hopefully I'll see you all next time.